Hi guys, thanks for coming and watching me cover up hickeys and dark circles that of course I only put there just for this video. So this is my first time using Derma Blend, and I'm going to use a bunch of products that I'm going to show you right now. Those were my two primers, a foundation powder and a maximum coverage concealer, which is what I'm putting on right now. And then I'm going to put a green eyeshadow on over the hickey part because supposedly the color counteracts. I've never done color correction, so I'm just going to do blue too just to see if it even makes a difference. I'm going to put yellow under my eyes to see if that actually counteracts any kind of bluish tone. Now this is the Derma Blend that I'm going to put on now. And it seems like I'm going to need a lot more than just one layer here. Put it on the rest of my face, anywhere that I had I dark circles or redness. Then of course, blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Then blending out my neck as well. So this is layer number two, and there's going to be layer number three, and four, and five. I'm thinking I put like eight layers of this shit on. Until I'm satisfied, which I was. And then I made the mistake of putting foundation over. Apparently Derma Blend does not play well with others. As soon as I put that on and tried to blend it, it got rid of everything and I had to kind of start over. Instead of putting on more layers, I thought maybe I could put some foundation powder over it, which kind of worked. It looks good enough. I put some translucent powder over this to set it. And then I'm gonna go on with the rest of my makeup. So this is just my face color to make sure I don't look dead. And then I'm just gonna put some light eyeshadow on all over my lid, along with a taupe colored eyeshadow. And then some dark brown to make some depth. And I'm gonna blend all that out. Then add another dark brown color in the crease. Now I'm using a cream eyeliner. I had never used cream eyeliner before doing this video. It feels like it moves around a lot more. I prefer the liquid liner with the felt tip. Now I'm using mascara. This is my new favorite mascara actually because it has a curved wand. Then I brush out any clumps like I always do along with brushing my eyebrows with eyebrow gel. Flick them up and then push them down. Time for lip liner. Makes my lips look a lot bigger than they really are. Then you finish it off with some nude lipstick. Looks like that's it. It's not perfect. I would have preferred a couple more layers to actually blend in the color with the rest of my face. But it was good enough to where no one noticed when I went out in public. So I hope you like this video. Ta-da! Thanks for watching!